can remain silent. Diwali is a reminder that each of us has the power, has the power to dispel darkness and bring light to the world. It's a choice. And we make that choice every day. It's true in our lives and in the life of this nation, especially in the life of a democracy, whether here in America or for the families back in India, marking 75 years of independence. And whether it's the United Kingdom, where just today we've gotten news that Rashid, Rashid Sanuk is now the Prime Minister. As my brother would say, go figure. <laughs> and the Conservative Party yeah. expected to become the Prime Minister, I think, tomorrow when he goes to see the King. Pretty astounding. A groundbreaking milestone, and it matters. It matters. Let me close with this. Few periods have been more challenging to our world than the one we're in right now. We face an inflection, we face an inflection point. One of those moments that only come every several generations where so much is changing and happening technologically, politically, socially, environmentally, that the decisions we make today are going to determine the future for the next several decades. Now, now more than ever, we need you engaged to do the work of our time, the work for all time. We need you to help fulfill the promise of this nation. The same promise of opportunity and equality that brought you and your families here in the first place to this great nation. For the American story depends not on any one of us. You can sit down, John. <laughs> hard to stand. It's getting hard to stand, I think. <laughs> not for some of us, but for all of us. That's what I hope you take away from this day. A chance to celebrate and connect, to feel the pride of community, and remember. From darkness, there's power in a gathering of late. You know, we just have to remember who we are. We're the United States of America. There's nothing, nothing beyond our capacity when we work together. So happy Diwali to all your families, and God bless you and protect you.